Milano and welcome to Bratislava. We are here for the ICF World Championships and we are going to be here watching the C2s, the kayaks, the women's kayaks, the women's C1. It's going to be an exciting week of racing and competition. My name is Kelly Vanderbeek. I will be your host here and I'm more than thrilled to welcome you to this exciting week of competition. I'm standing here with Richard Fox, Vice President of the International Canoe Federation. He's got a bit of experience standing atop the podium at World Championships. So I thought we'd ask you, what should we expect this coming week? Well, obviously a lot of excitement. This is the World Championships. There are the best athletes of the world here. This is the last day of training. Athletes going through the final preparation. Racing starts tomorrow with the heats and then follows on on Thursday but it's a long way to the finals on Saturday and Sunday. In between, we've got the Olympic qualification and I think we'll see a lot of uh, excitement on Friday where a lot of those quotas will get determined. Who do you see as being strong contenders, especially in the women's class and the new women's C1s class? Well, we can't go past Slovakia, as I've, I've mentioned already, the uh, reigning Olympic champion, Elena Kaliska, but great rivalry, even at the, at the home level, Jana Dukatova leading in the World Cup, uh, Karina Kuhn from Austria. She, she only lives over the border. She trains here regularly. She's the reigning world champion and then a very strong German team. So I think the women's K1 will be a very exciting race. Do you have any young guns that you're expecting to really come up? I mean, there's been some incredible storylines throughout the whole season. Who are you watching out for as some of the new, uh, the new powerhouses in the sport? Well, the great thing about slalom or canoeing in general is you do have a, a great range of ages. Yeah. You know, we've, we've got athletes that started racing at a world championship level in 85. They're still here. Uh, we've got uh, Hilga Tova. She's been around, won her first gold in 96. And then we've got a host of juniors from last year's world championship who have been making finals this year in the World Cup. So that's going to be a really exciting meeting point. Old meets the new. Like in all sports, there are the great duels that exist. and. Uh, Canoe, kayak is no different. What are some of the duels to expect this week? Well, let's look out for Tony Estonge and Michael Martikin. Estonge is on a run, winning the World Championship for the last two years running. But Martikin, he won the test event in London not long ago, uh, and he showed his form in uh, Markleyberg at the World Cup. So I think there's a little bit of unfinished business there, and, and we can expect the best from both of those athletes here. There's nothing better than unfinished business when a race is on the line. Um, on the women's side, Australia is one of the powerhouses in C1 women. So I'm curious, are there any duels or any sort of uh, backstory that you can give us there? Well, it's true Australia's gone well through the World Cup season, but this is the World Championships and, and we will see a very tight level of competition. The standard is definitely higher. Uh, France, Germany, they're all taking this event much more seriously. Some great athletes out there and a lot more teams getting involved. So I, I think there may be some surprises out there and uh, it'll be a very tight event. There's nothing better than surprises on a World Championship week, so we look forward to seeing what those surprises turn out and which athletes will end up on top, so stay tuned. I continue to say that you should stay tuned, so this is how you stay tuned. There's an unbelievable amount of information out there. You can look on the ICF website, the event website for Bratislava. The World Championships are also going to be found on Facebook, on YouTube, on live results, so there's all kinds of stuff. Go seek out those websites, you will find an enormous amount of information so you can follow your athletes, you can follow your countries and you can cheer on your athletes and see what comes out of these world championships.